Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Hey lovelies, welcome back to Love Janelle. I was asked a few weeks ago to make a video showing how to make double stranded waist beads so here it is. I always take requests of um, videos that you would like to see so if you have any put that in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it and subscribe for more and let's get on with this video. So here you see I have my two waist beads. I use this um, thin clear wire. For this first example, I'm going to use the lobster hook. So for that, we're going to need the crimps. So I put both at the same time for both of the wires go through the crimp at the same time. And then I slide that all the way until I meet the beads. I then get the loop and I put that through. So I have a video showing how I do these. So you can go back and watch that if you want a slower version. But I put that right back through the crimp. So the loop is at the end and then I use my needle nose pliers and I crimp those down. If you squeeze down tight enough it's not going anywhere so it's really secure once you use those pliers and squeeze as much as you can. Um, these double stranded waist beads are usually used for more fashion purposes so they won't be hold but it won't be held taut to your body it's usually used to like hang but either way it's secure so you snip off the excess um, string and that's that one side I'm gonna come back and put the crimp covers over it but I'm just showing you how to secure it with the crimp so we're gonna do the, pretty much the same thing on the other side except on this side we're gonna be using the actual lobster claw so being sure to hold both strings together and threading the crimp through that then I go ahead and add the lobster claw you thread those two strings back through the crimp and it's pretty much the same thing you're going to crimp that down on the other side also Now like I said before I was going to cover it with the crimp covers these just look like an extra bead on the end that just covers up the um, crimp looking flat and out of place. So just cover and then lightly don't push on it too hard because you don't want that cover to have a um, flattened side we want it to look nice and round like that and that's it you do that on both sides and that's the first double stranded waist bead now you can um, have both of your strands pretty much at the same length or you can stagger them and have one slightly longer than the other but either way you would do it you would create your closures the same way So for this next set of double stranded waist beads I'm using barrel clasps. I also have a tutorial on my channel um, showing you how to attach the barrel clasps to your waist beads too. But it's the same thing. We're going to put two of the strings together. I use a thin one because it can go through that hole right there. The hole is pretty small. So if it's a bit thicker string it's very likely you couldn't double them. But I just thread that through and then um, tie it a few times. Now I realized when editing I didn't do a good job showing exactly how I tied it but you just want to make as big a knot as possible that will fit inside of the barrel. So if you just make one or two knots it will slide through so you need to make it as tight as possible and then you just cut off that excess once you um, have it as secure as you need it. You do the same thing on the other side and that's the second way um, you can do the double stranded um, waist beads. I'm sure you can um, do that this with any other kind of closure um, or hooks um, but these are the two I had on hand. And again any other video ideas just let me know in the comment section below like this video if it was informative if you have any 
um, questions put that in the comment section down below I'm gonna put as much details about the things I'm using in the video in the description I have to get better at that I'm working on that um, subscribe for more if you want more waste speed videos or any other um, type of videos like that let me know and until next time it don't confuse me with somebody else Cause I've been working, I've been moving in stealth Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself